Hello everyone, this is Jesse Wood from Centroid Center, here for another Python tutorial. Let's get started. So, let's open up Idle. After you get that opened up, Control N for a new window. And let's save this as a file in our Centroid Center tutorials as I dub the dot py. Let's start off by practicing our comments. So, yes, he would. The date 12 10 10 and our purpose to show the world Python. Now, variables are like a box, I've told you about them in, a little bit in the past tutorial. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty easy to get. Um, so let's name our first variable. Let's name it name. So name equals um, raw input. So basically, raw input gets gets text inputted by the user. So name equals raw input. What is your name? Question mark. And we can say raw input. And raw input is spelled R A W underscore I N P U T. And then you do um, a parentheses quotation mark, and whatever you want to say. And that will receive input. So at the end of the program, it just stops it until you're ready for it to, ready to quit. So press the enter key to exit. We can also call variables through the print statement again. So if we say print name, this is what this program would do. If we click F5, this will bring us to idle, and it will run it in idle, and then that way we can, if there's any mistakes in the program, it will tell us right off. Let's click F5. Nope, no problems. What is your name? Jesse. Jesse. And so it prints my name. Press the enter key to exit. Now, back in our program, I want to show you... Um, a new kind of quotation. So if we said print, this is a triple quotation. Inside of it, it'll print everything exactly how you typed it out. So if you put spaces in it like this and said hello and did a couple more spaces and said yo and saved it. F5, what is your name? Jesse. Jesse. Hello and yo. So that it will print exactly what you have entered in. And if um, inside a normal string you wanted to say print like ma like master with a quotation, so we said hello, master, and then end quotation. And let's say I want to put quotes around master. See right here it works, Jesse. Hello, master. Um, so let's say if we want to put quotes around master. That does not work because, as you can tell, the editor thinks that the statement ends right before master because that's a quotation. What we have to do there, if we click F5, Idle will tell us that there's an error and show us exactly where. Um, this is very helpful in debugging your program. So to add a to add a a quotation, you click backslash quotation after every quotation you want to add there, and it will it will print just the quotation. Um, so I got five. Five. Jesse, 
hello, master, and it does it with quotations this time. Um, if you want to do a new line, um, we could say, hello, and then, okay, hello, backslash, n, a person, and we click F5, okay, come on, um, F5, what is your name, Jesse, Jesse, hello, person, um, so, backslash n will bring it to a new line. If you want to do a backslash, it's pretty simple. You just do two backslashes. Okay, keep doing that. Let's open it up with the normal window. So I will go to my desktop and open IWB. Jesse. Jesse, hello, backslash person. We can also do this system alarm with this backslash thing. Uh, so we said backslash A, and we open it up on here. What is your name? Jesse. Says Jesse. Hello, person. Now that's not good enough. I don't like that. I want to say hello, Jesse, for a greeting. To do that, we would have to say print. Okay, print quotation marks, hello, and then we add a comma, which will add any, which will add, like, either the next line or anything you add after that, so hello, and then name, click our program, what is your name, Jesse, hello Jesse, that is our personalized helloer. Um, so let's make another variable called age. Age equals raw underscore input parentheses quotation mark. How old are you? Um, so, why don't we add this to our hello, hello me. Um, so we put a comma after this and say, hello, Jesse, you are, and then we put a comma after ending the quotation marks, and then age comma again, quotation marks, years old. Well, let's try it. If we open it up, what is your name? I am Jesse. How old are you? I'm 98. I am not 98, by the way, but this is just for the, the program. Hello, Jesse. You are 98 years old. So, that is pretty simple. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to visit my blog at centroidcenter.blogspot.com. Have a wonderful day. Next time we will be learning about math.